Today, we are diving into a really exciting new capability in Azure API management. We are going to explore how you can quickly and easily expose your existing REST APIs as remote MCP servers, all without writing a single line of new code. With everyone talking about MCP servers and AI agents, you want to get your APIs connected and leverage those new possibilities. This is exactly where Azure API Management comes in. As you can see in my API Management instance, I currently have a list of five REST APIs already built and deployed to APIM. To expose these as MCP servers, I'm now switching over to the MCP Server tab. I just have to click on Create a new MCP Server, First, I have to decide based on what REST API do I want to create my new MCP server. Next, I need to select which API operations I want to expose as MCP server tools. We wanted to give users maximum flexibility here so you can individually pick which operation you want to expose as a tool. In my example, I will pick two useful operations, one that will return all people currently on call and another one that will return all people scheduled for an upcoming shift. Not every endpoint should be exposed as a tool. For example, a delete operation needs to be handled with more caution. And just like that, Azure API Management takes my existing REST API and exposes it as a fully functional remote MCP server. Let's switch over to VS Code to see this in action. Via our VS Code extension, I will first test my underlying API endpoints to ensure everything is working as expected. I will select the operation I want to test. For testing here, I need to provide a subscription key. In my navigation, I will open my subscription items and choose which API key I want to use. Once provided, I'm now able to successfully test my API operation right here in VS Code, making sure it works perfectly before we move on. Now that we've confirmed our API operation, let's test and view our recently created MCP server. Once I open it, I can find the remote MCP server we just created and the exposed tools listed in my navigation. I will copy the server URL. You will notice that API management exposes it via streamable HTTP and server send events SSE. For my first use case, I will pick streamable HTTP. As a next step, I'm now adding this as a new MCP server to my VS Code configuration. Let's provide a good descriptive MCP server name and add it to my workspace setting. Once I hit enter, it will automatically add it and start my MCP server. Now for the really fun part, I can use my remote MCP server with GitHub Copilot in agent mode. Let me quickly confirm my tool selection. Let's ask Copilot a question that will trigger my tools and get me the information directly from my underlying API. Because I ask two questions that relate to two different tools, Copilot will first ask me to confirm that I should continue with these two specific tools before executing. As a result, Copilot will first list the people who are currently on call and then list the people who will be on call starting next week. Now, let me quickly stop my MCP server for a moment. With API management, you can apply familiar patterns like policies to your remote MCP servers. API management policies allow you to change the behavior of your MCP servers. In my example, I want to apply a rate limiting policy on top of my remote MCP server to prevent overuse. With the help of Copilot, I'm able to ask for a rate limiting policy. And in agent mode, Copilot can automatically update my XML policy file. Copilot added one line of policy, which I will keep, and then upload these changes to my API management service. This time, we will test our remote MCP server with MCP Inspector. In my terminal, I will start MCP Inspector, which is now running locally. This time, let me quickly get the SSE endpoint for my remote MCP server. And now I will provide this URL to MCP Inspector. I will connect. And once connected, I will list the tools in the browser. After selecting a tool, I will run it, keeping in mind that at some point my rate limit policy should become effective. And once switching back to my terminal, I'm able to verify the status code and the message clearly stating that I hit my rate limit. 
your remote MCP server can be changed dynamically. For example, you can easily add new API operations or deselect some that you no longer wish to expose as tools. You can also verify the policy changes directly in the Azure portal. And of course, once you don't want to use your MCP server anymore, you can easily delete it as well. Make sure to also subscribe to the AI Gateway release channel to see all the latest MCP-related functionalities as they become available. And if you have any feature requests or ideas, please make sure to log them in our MCP and API Management GitHub repository under Issues. We really appreciate your feedback. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.